Hello, this is Therese Nicole, and today I am going to be doing some resistance and cardiorespiratory training exercises. I will be doing a total of 9 exercises, 1 for cardiorespiratory exercise and 8 for resistance exercise, 30 seconds each and 1 set. This video is one of my tasks in PE11, Physical Fitness and Gymnastics. Let's get started. I started with a warm up to build up the momentum that I will be needing later on. Warming up will reduce the chance of muscle and tendon injuries. It raises our muscles' temperature for optimal flexibility and efficiency. This shall prepare our bodies for the actual routine or exercises that we will be doing. In addition, warm up and cool down will lessen the chance of muscle pain. We will experience and suffer from soreness if we jump into the workout without warming up. Kasi, nabibigla ang katawan natin. The first drill is under the cardiorespiratory exercise. These are any activities that increase heart rate and respiration. It also raises oxygen and blood flow throughout the body. This specific exercise is called squat drops or drop squats. It primarily targets the quads and to a lesser degree also targets the hamstrings, outer thighs, quads, and glutes. This exercise can also burn calories and might help you lose weight. The following exercises will be under the resistance exercise. These exercises cause the muscles to contract against an external resistance with the expectation of increases in strength, tone, mass, and or endurance. This exercise that I am doing right now is called the static lunge. Stationary or static lunges are particularly effective at targeting your glutes. By focusing your weight on your heel as you press up, the stationary lunge allows you to target the glutes and let them work as they should. This kind of exercise also forces your spine and core to stay balanced, which is great for building stability. The next exercise is sumo squat. This activates muscle groups throughout your lower body including your quadriceps, hamstrings, hip flexors, glutes, calves, and lower back muscles.
next exercise is reverse lunges. Can I do a lunge with bad knees? Lunges are a great way to improve your overall leg and hip strength, but they may cause unnecessary pain when practiced incorrectly. You may use knee support to, of course, support your knees like what I am wearing right now. Backward lunges are also safer for the knees because it is much easier to emphasize the muscles of the glutes, hamstrings, and quads. The pressure is reduced with backward lunges compared to regular lunges, as the tendency with forwarding lunges is to get the knee too forward and over the toes. The next one is popular, sit-ups. Sit-ups train your abdominal muscles to engage for extended periods of time, contract against resistance, and lift weight. It is primarily an exercise for muscular endurance. This will also strengthen your core and keep you in shape. The next one is the Russian twist. It is not included in the choices, but I decided to also put it in my drills for today. It is an effective way to build your core and shoulders, that's why. It's also a popular exercise among athletes since it helps with rotational movement, which happens often in sports. It may look like a simple movement, but it requires a lot of strength and support. This may also help you burn calories, be in better shape, lose belly fat, and improve your balance and posture. Donkey Kicks Donkey Kicks are great for both stability and toning. It is a hip hyperextension exercise that effectively targets your gluteus maximus, the largest out of your three gluteal muscles. It will also work your core and shoulder muscles since your entire body has to remain stable while your leg lifts. The next one is called Mountain Climbers. Mountain Climbers are an effective way of strengthening your arms, back, shoulders, core, and legs. Another benefit of using multiple muscles at once is an increased heart rate, which will help you burn more calories. This will also help you in toning your ab muscles. Finally, the last one, push-ups. I decided to do the knuckle push-ups since they activate the muscles in your forearms more than the standard push-ups. Muscular forearms are essentially for building grip strength and a powerful upper body. And that's it! We're done for the exercises. 
Of course, do not forget your water. And pet your cutie patootie baby. Finally, I will end this exercise with a cool down. Much like warming up, cooling down after exercise has huge benefits in preventing injuries, such as muscle tears and strains. Also, this is the recovery part and this shall relax our body from the workout or any activity we did. Entertainment.